Although I did not have a problem at the pool today, I had a problem online again with somebody commenting. I suppose you saw the comment. Um, it's on my video about living healthy and happy on Social Security. And he made a comment saying, why don't you just go buy some dog food, you old hag. Anyway, so I'm not the kind of a person, at least at this age I am now, to just ignore it. Um, so I called up the car company because he, he's a car salesman. I did the ver some very quick research and found out who he works for. Not in Florida. So I called the head company of the car the car uh, that he sells and I told them uh, the comment he made. It happens to be a Japanese company. So I said he's not a very good representative of your company. I know Japanese culture, Japanese people are are very honoring of their senior citizens. So I don't think they would want someone like that representing them. So they, they took the complaint down and they were going to look into it. And then I called the actual dealership, which he's working for, and I spoke to the general manager. So right away the manager went to my YouTube channel online and he saw the guy, you know, the name, the face, and it's one of his salespeople. And he said he's very sorry. Um, that's not usually how he acts at work. And he's going to have a talk with him. And I told him that I, when I responded to the comment, I did use the name of his dealership. And would he like me to edit that and take it off? And he said, well, it's your right to do whatever you want in a comment. but." we really would rather not our name be associated with that type of comment. And I said, okay, I'm going to remove it because I don't want to be vindictive. So I, remo I removed that part of it and I replaced it with employer car dealership instead of the actual name. But so many thoughts, um, usually people they don't have the if they're going to do bad things like troll they won't have their photograph they won't have their real name but this guy I guess he's kind of clueless uh, you know he had his real photograph although it was an old one because the photograph of him on the dealership website is current and he's like 80 pounds heavier so he's complaining calling me an old hag the way I look I presume my wrinkles again and yet he's hiding the fact that he's like 80 pounds heavier now by using an old photograph of himself. Now, isn't that strange? So here we are. I said to his manager, you know, what does this guy want me to do? I, you know, I used to be a beautiful woman. So, so now I'm old, older, don't look so good, have lots of wrinkles. What does he want me to do, kill myself? I'm being sarcastic, of course. Um, it's just weird. It's it, it's just weird. I don't know what else to say. But anyway, it was very stressful because I don't like ugly things. And it's so ugly. And if I don't, if I, if I just ignore it, like, you know, oh, I'm, I'm above it all, so what, he's clueless, he's uneducated, whatever. But if I don't do anything, like complaining to his boss and, and the head company, then, you know, he'll just keep doing this to other people. Maybe he'll learn. I don't know. It's hard for someone like that to change. But 
if everyone did something about this kind of thing, I don't think it would happen so much, but everyone just puts up with it. They, they hear awful cursing, they, they say nothing, you know. There, there's people, they, they, they just throw the F word around, you know, just stick it in a sentence for emphasis. What's that all about? I, I just don't get it. Do you know, um, I heard the F word once as a child. One of my uncles said it. He was telling some joke about the Queen of England. I don't know, some silly thing. And family members were in the room. And when he said it, um, my mother and one of my aunts went, oh! so we never said it again. And, and then there's that substitute word. People think it's new, F-R-I-G-G-I-N. That's like the better substitute for the F word. It's not better. We know what you mean. I heard that in the 50s. I was so young, like six years old. I heard my aunt's husband say it once, just once. So... When I hear those kind of words now, let's say I'm in, I was in a health food store like a year ago and some man is talking on the phone and he was an older man. He should know better. He looks like he was 70. He's talking on the phone and uh, he said that, uh, that type of word. So as I walked by him, I did this and I said, ouch, please be careful of bad words. He just stared at me like I was out of this world, and he kept walking and talking. But if everybody did something, it wouldn't be so common, all this cursing. One time I was in a home improvement store. I don't know if I told this story or not in another video, but a famous home improvement store. I was in South Florida, and there was this man with a black t-shirt big white letters across the t-shirt and it said I'm not gonna say the whole word it said F U U F and F -er. but the whole words and I said to him you know that's that there are young children in this store that's not good for them and he got annoyed and he said I'm teaching them something it's good for them to learn so then we started arguing, and, and there was an uh, off-duty policeman there acting as a security guard. So he said to us, get this, he said to us, take it outside. What does he think, that I'm going to go fist fight a man out in the parking lot? Me? <laughs> take it outside. And the relative I was with was very annoyed at me and said to me, don't argue with idiots. All right, so I wasn't going to just ignore that either. So during the week, that same week, I started doing research and making phone calls. And, you know, like the Florida statutes. And I found out that it's illegal to use obscene words anywhere in the state of Florida if, if there are minors present. And there were plenty of minors present in that home improvement store that day that I had that problem. So I called the home improvement store and spoke to management and I told him my experience and I told him it was illegal and he, he thanked me and he said he was going to do something about it. I don't know if he did. I don't know why I'm being reminded of this other thing, but the last time I was on a beach in South Florida, one of the last times, I always went to this beach. There were palm trees, and there's plenty of lifeguards, and it's beautiful. And it's so beautiful that it's expensive to park your vehicle there, like, like $5. And that's like $2 to go over the causeway to get into the place. So all of a sudden, I'm going there my whole life, and all of a sudden, there's, there's this woman. 
um, topless on the beach. This is a family beach. There used to be a zoo there for kids and a little train ride. And I asked the lifeguard, is this a nude beach, officially a nude beach now? And he said, ma'am, it's totally legal to be totally nude anywhere in Florida, in public, unless somebody complains that it's offensive to them. You can go down, you can go downtown um, in the public and be totally nude and it's fine unless there's a complaint. So I said, okay, I'm complaining then. That's offensive to me. So that was that. Now, since then, I've done further research, and that wasn't true what the lifeguard said. You can't be nude anywhere. Wherever nudity is allowed, there has to be signs there that declares this is a clothing-free zone. This is a nude beach, whatever. I did go out of curiosity to this uh, combination park beach in South Florida once, and there was a nude beach there, and there was a rope going from the water to back near the street. And one side of the rope was for nudity, and the other side of the rope was for clothing, clothed people. And it was very fascinating because about two feet from the rope on one side was an older gentleman completely nude, completely, not even a pair of socks, not even sandals. And on the other side of the rope, very close to the rope, like, like about two feet or less, was this tiny little precious little girl in her little, her little bathing suit, you know, and her little shovel and her little pail, you know, and she was playing with the dirt. So it was just a completely outrageous <laughs> picture here. This this nude old man and this cute little little toddler, maybe she was like two and a half or something like that you know, right standing next to each other. Well, I didn't go back to that beach anymore. It's too, it's too strange. And why am I saying all this? I guess this is a day for me to be thinking about strange things and the things people do and that we should all do something about these things. You know, maybe it's not going to help me, it might help somebody else. In the future, maybe it'll help a child, somebody who's very easily influenced. And I think that's it. Happy weekend.